Sound check. One, two. Camera check. Oh, it's doing it again. All of this for nothing. Are you serious? All right. Let me stop and tell y'all what happened. I was on with uh, customer support earlier for StreamYard. Trying to get this delay to stop happening between my voice and the camera. They had me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what I need to try? <laughs> Hang on, y'all. I'll be right back. I need to try. Um, I need to try doing this from Firefox real quick. Okay. Hopefully that might work. Um, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You're just going to see the screen for a second, but I'll be right back. I'm going to do this quick, fast, in a hurry. All right, I'm back. It's working good for a second, but it's probably going to fuck up on me. Um, I just downloaded the, the new operating system, uh, Ventura, and thinking that that might fix it. But it looked like I was still having problems when I'm on Chrome. Right now I'm on Firefox, and it's looking like, oh, hang on. Oh, no, I'm there. Okay. It's looking like it's doing good right now, but nope, it just went. Jeez, oh, jeez, jeez, No, Safari's no good with StreamYard. Listen, I got my brother, uh, Taki Grant, here from, from the Happy Film. We're just going to bring him on and try to work through this, man. Let's bring my, my brother... Taki Grant. Make sure you click like, click share. Uh, peace, Taki. Peace, fam. How you feeling, bro? Hang on. You sound low to me. Move this mic a little closer to see if that works. Okay. Yeah, I turned you up to a little bit, maybe. How you, brother? I'm doing well, man. How's everything in your end? Ah, oh, man. Uh, technically not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, feel, there's it'd be there's like a that. delay between my sound and my my video, and it's pissing me off. I've done everything 
that you're supposed to do to get it right. Um, I don't know if it's StreamYard. I'm almost ready to try Zoom soon and see if it's that. But I was on with customer support, like I told you earlier, trying to get this shit right. Now the shit is like, you see what that did? One, it just did a little. Yeah, yeah, little you know, thing. it did it on yours too. Oh, did it really? Like it's like buffering or something. Yeah, it's just doing weird shit. I've I've cleared caches. I've done all the shit that you're supposed to do. I just installed a whole new operating system, upgraded my operating system to this Ventura, crossing my fingers that that would do the trick. But <laughs> it is what it is, man. We still have you here. You're you're on time. You look like your shit is on time and all that, right? Speak. Yeah, nah, everything looks everything looks good on my end. There is a delay when you speak. There you go. Yeah, everything looks good on your end. I mean, shit. Let me put you on this side. Let's see if that helps, right? Make this about you anyway. And I'll put you, make you the big one. What's going on, brother Taki? What we got going on? We got a black day of excellence going on. Yes, Forget sir. my camera. Yes, Saturday, February 4th in New York City. New York needs something like this. It's been a long time since New York really had anything of any type of significance. You know, I don't know what the hell happened to this city, but, you know, there's a lot of things just not moving and shaking here like it used to. You know, New York was the epicenter of many things, and one of the things was the epicenter of that years ago was the conscious community. You know, New York was the place, you know, it was Broadway, you know, Malcolm, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, like everybody, you know what I mean? You came here, this is a place where things were kind of where it happened that movers and shakers, and um, somehow or another, man, things just started to change. So, you know, and when you think of hip hop, when you, you think of the audience itself, you know, that expression of who we are in terms of our consciousness artistically comes out in forms, in artistic forms, excuse me, like, you know, music and, and dance and literature. You know, think of the James Baldwins and people like that. New York has this way of kind of inspiring people in a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? So um, what we did with the Day of Black Excellence is we combined all the elements together. You know what I mean? Not all the elements, but most, it's a lot of the elements, black intellectualism, uh, music, art, dance you know what i'm saying drumming even the whole aspect of um black entrepreneurship is coming together in one day you know it was really a, like a full day like then and nine hours on the program to really really showcase who and what we are to celebrate what we call our black genius you know what i'm saying so that's the you know that's essentially the happy day of black excellence we also in fact the film piece i forgot about that which is a huge piece of it um i'm just going to run through the lineup real quick we have um uh, Professor James Small, Kaba Kamini, uh, Brother Infudishi Jehutimis, uh, Dr. Susan Tata, Dr. Gina Falu, um, Brother Jamal Milton performing. Uh, we also have the two films, Happy the Role of Economics and Development of Civilization, or what we like to call from crops to stocks, as well as the Brother Amadeus Christ's new film, um, Out of Darkness, Heavy is the Crown, Volume 1, which is a powerful piece. Um, along with that, we definitely have the African drummers, the dancers. Um, Got to mention Brand New being there performing. Looking forward okay. to that. It's gonna be exciting, okay. you know, element to the to the program, like bringing yes, these sure. elements together. You know what I'm saying? And then um, uh, we're gonna be hosted and moderated by my brother Ken Harris. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be a powerful night, man. Just really bringing it all together, meshing it in a way that just you know what I'm saying just makes sense. You know what I mean? So it's it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Something that's much needed. You know, in a time like this where you know, the stuff that's going on with a lot of our, um, just with people just speaking up in terms of reclaiming their legacy, you know, the whole thing with Kyrie and, you know, shit like that kind of like really, really, it's interesting, you know what I mean? What, what, what happened there and you got stuff going on right now, you know, people aware was with Kevin Hart, they're trying to, you know, do this whole cancel culture thing with him right now in Egypt. What's so going on with Kevin Hart? Yeah, yeah. So he, um, there was this recent Shark Tank episode where he invested some money in Black Sands. Black Sands is a, a Black-owned comic series that deals with um, promoting positive imagery for, for Black youth, historically. You know, like it may show like 
Pharaoh Tutankhamun, Ramses II, those individuals as being black. Mm -hmm. Say that again, Jay? No, I was telling that guy, Charlie, to hang on. I'll answer his question in a minute, I guess. Okay. All right. So um, in, during the investment process, he made the comment like, yeah, you know, it's important for black children to see this because the pharaohs are black. So for certain individuals in Egypt, I'm not going to say all, you know what I'm saying? These, these, you know, these motherfuckers lost their mind. Essentially, they went, they went, they went crazy. They went ape shit. Oh, you are trying to steal our culture, blah, 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 blah. And all this, all this what, crazy. The people in Egypt that's there now? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 In fact, deserve to get mad. Yes. That Kevin yes. Hart said that the pharaohs was black. Yes, but listen, listen. It gets better than that. It don't just stop there. It don't just stop there. So there's a whole, and I'm gonna share it with you too. There's a whole change.org um, petition they have to stop him from doing the show. He's supposed to be doing a show in Cairo on February 21st, and they're like, nah, this whole Afrocentric movement, you know, they got to stop because they're trying to steal our culture. That's what these people are saying. Like, they, there's like no, like, there's no scientific evidence that the pharaohs are black. Like, they're really taking it that far. It's really interesting. But for us, as if, as if they're, they're, like, we cut the noses off. What are y'all talking about? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But for us and how the noses off, how the hell are you going to prove that the pharaohs was black? <laughs> you know, for us and Hoppy, it gets even more interesting because the same, we had a, a similar incident that occurred almost a year ago now. We had a conference that was scheduled in on February last year that was supposed to take place in Aswan, Egypt. It was called the return, it's called the One Africa Returning to the Source Conference. And we were bringing different intellectuals there. We we're gonna have a conference just really amongst ourselves, about 200 people. And these people got kind of worded at. And this whole thing started. And when it when it came to an end, we had to move it to Detroit. So we had a conference last year in the spring in Detroit. But the situation with that was the same people who started the petition against him did it against us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very familiar with the tactics and the schemes these people are doing. And when I start to think about the pushback we're getting in terms of just, just reclaiming our history, I'm like, yo, shit, we really, really got to kind of move a little bit stronger. You know what I mean? So... You know, for us, it's like, you know, we, we started to um, endeavor into this this new thing, this day of black excellence, because we really start thinking about, you know, what we've done, not just in the, the immediate past, not just in the immediate past, but also in the distant past. We really got to celebrate who we are. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, I'm going to actually send you and you I don't know if you want to put it on the screen or not. OK, but I'm going to send you the link for the. Um, the uh the change.org with uh with Kevin Hart so you can see it yourself. You can kind of maybe share with your people, what have you, so you can kind of see what's what's happening. Um now if y'all want to get tickets to this uh day of excellence, I have a link in the description right now. Um where is this taking place at again? Shit, Jamaica, New York, 153-10 Jamaica Avenue at the Jamaica Performing Arts Center. But here's the thing, though. People actually have the opportunity not only to come in person, but they can live stream it for the comfort of their own homes. And mm. people around the country, around the world, if you're not in Queens, you're not in New York, or the tri-state area, I tell everybody, you know, Jersey, Connecticut, you know what I'm saying, um, New England states, what have you, you know, Long Island, Westchester, Rockland, if you in the New York City area, tri-state area, come through. If you're not, you can get your tickets and you can just watch it from your house. You know what I mean? You you can do the live stream piece. So there's two options for folks. Real quick, we got a super chat from from uh, my man Charlie right here. And um, Charlie said, do you feel that, black, that the black man has to rat out in order to be extremely successful in today's society? I think that's a coon. It looks like a raccoon. It's like you're saying the black man has to be a coon, like a sellout. Is that a raccoon or it, it looks like a rat? Like, like, like he guess he's trying to say the black man has to sell out, be a rack, be a coon. Right. Do you have nah, to be a rat not. or do you have to like, yeah, be a coon? A rat or a right. coon. This is, you know, it's some kind of rodent, right? <laughs> um, no. 
no, you don't, you don't, you don't you have to be extremely cool. successful. Nah, right. I don't think you have to. I just feel like a lot of people choose to, you know, right. They just choose to go down that road because it's easier for a lot of people to do that. But, um, I don't think you have to do it. Nah, not at all. And it's I think it's important. Like, like, the like, like, like Kanye said. Yeah. yeah. Kenism is a choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rattery is facts. a choice. Facts, facts, facts. You know, I also forgot to mention, um, shit. you know, the keynote speaker that night, Rizzo Islam, will be there. The day of black excellence. We also have some poets in the house, poet, uh, dope poet by the name of Lyrical Faith. Um, so between you know Riza, Professor Small, uh, Kaba, and Fudishi, uh, Janina Falu, Susan Tata, the drumming, the dance, Brand Nubian, Jamal Hilton, um, Lyrical Faith. I mean, we're gonna have a real, real powerful show that night, you know what I mean? And it really, again, when you start to think about the backdrop of everything that's going on and then around us, you know, and I sent you the link. I don't know if you you got it, but um, everything that's going on around and who we are, even this thing with the again what happened with Kyrie a few months back with this whole with the with the documentary in terms of listen, I don't subscribe to the the notion philosophically what he what the what the doc is saying, but just the mere fact that people are really trying to reclaim their legacy and their roots, it's like we can't it's like we can't do that. And every time we get to that point, what is I mean, I saw the doc and I thought the doc was just saying that the original Hebrews were were uh black people mm -hmm. wrong with that i'm not saying anything's wrong with it you know what they're mad start... about is there was a part in there that you know had a quote from somebody from actually somebody who's jewish but apparently there's a dispute whether this person really said this quote or not and it was about something about um they were questioning I don't know the number or something like that of of Holocaust victims. So that was um, what they were really upset about, or what they claimed to be upset about. They probably were upset that we were saying that black people are the original Hebrews, um, but they knew that they couldn't really uh, dispute that. So I guess they had to, you know, land on something. Right, yeah, find something in there to be angry about. Right, right, right. I mean, you know, religion is, is always a way to control. To me, it's like it's like painting Jesus black. You know, what I mean, I don't want to offend any Christians or anything like that. But the reality is, just because you paint them black, don't make it right. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of how I see that situation. You know, when we start to accept, you know. Um, beings or, or gods that look other than ourselves, we begin to follow those type. We we almost surrender ourselves to the mindset of those people. Because the reality is, you know, the Bible says man made God in his image and his likeness, but the reality is God created man in his image. I'm excuse me, man created God in his image and his likeness. When you start to look at a man that look, look like a God that looks other than you, you're pretty much, you know what I'm saying, a slave to that man. And, and that's kind of what happened. So you can you know, we can, we, we've been kind of gone this road a long time with certain, you know what I'm saying, groups, but you know, it's important for black people to, to really, really go back to their source. We were the first people to identify with the divine source of the universe. We were the first people to kind of give it a, uh, a name and a title and, 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 and create a relationship with it. You know what I'm saying? In our societies and our, in our structure and our moral compass and everything else that we had and around us. And the Nile Valley, the Happy Valley, is a is a it's a it's an, a replica or a symbol. It symbolizes that. You know what I mean? What we created along the banks of the Nile, in terms of what we put, created in other parts of Africa, we didn't have to look outside of ourselves for the Creator because we knew what the Creator was. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, you know, we 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 searching and we're identifying through the lens of other people, and when we identify through the lens of other people. You know, we find ourselves trapped in these these. Uh, these, these, these isms, you know what I'm saying? So, so it's really important for us to go back to the source. You know what I mean? In this day Speaking of black of going back to the source, let's go to the source of, pardon me. 
let's go to the source of um you know this whole happy movement and and for those that might not be familiar with the happy documentary and what happy is why don't you tell people a little bit about happy all right so person who might not know yeah yeah so happy let's just start with the name let's let's start there the h-a-p-i happy is the original name for what the ancient egyptians or the africans ever liked the way i like to call the live along the banks and now called the Nile river so the happy Atiru really would translate as the Nile river but happy is more than just a river happy is a principle when you mean a principle a divine source of energy as well and the um ancient community or the ancient egyptians looked upon that river as a source of substance for them you got to understand or you have to kind of take your minds back to about ten thousand years ago when north africa was once a tropical rainforest and when the earth axis shifted that rainforest became the sahara desert as we know today but in that process people began to migrate different groups of people different tribes throughout the african continent migrated towards river valleys and you had particularly the nile river or the hopi river valley as well as the niger river valley and there that's where they developed civilization um for myself happy started years ago we're just trying to understand the relationship between the kingdoms and the nile you know, we start to talk about the relationships between egypt and what they call kush uh or or, or nubia you know is when you start to you get the foundations for Egyptology. Egyptology really starts or begins with taking um, Kemet, which is the original name for Egypt, out of Africa and placing Egypt in the Middle East. And they've done that very strategically. And one of the ways they've done that, they've created enmity or a rift between Egypt and its, or Kemet and its southern neighbor or its, its sister state, which would be Kush. Because essentially they're saying these are two different people and they hated each other. As, as opposed to saying they were really actually one people as we know it. You know what I mean? So for me, Happy, the film started with just kind of unraveling those things. You know, I've done a lot of traveling um, back and forth to Egypt for years, taking many people there for about 25 years and then kind of in and out, kind of kind of doing that. And in the process of doing that, we created a, fairy, a series of films. Started with Nubia, the untold story, when I was in the Sudan, we had the opportunity to go to Sudan a couple of times. Most people don't know there's more pyramids in Sudan than it is in Egypt. And that's one of the things they don't even want to tell you. There's like almost twice as many pyramids in Sudan as it is in Egypt. You know what I mean? But people don't even go there, even, even you know, bother to acknowledge the fact that this, this civilization existed there. You know, and they try to just ignore it like it wasn't there. Or when they do speak well, about it. pyramids here in America that they don't acknowledge yeah. as well. But when they do speak about the, the, the Kushite civilization, they speak about it in the sense that Egypt had, its, uh, had their foot on its neck. And that's, that's not true. So... Again, that was the foundation in the film piece. As we begin to kind of evolve and get more into the, the dialogue in the film, we realized that the um, the relationship by and large was, was, was an economic relationship, right? So you start to understand that eco, ec, ec, economics really is the foundation of civilization, you know, and, and how we deal with one another, how we, you know, um, the goods and services that we need to survive. You know what I mean? You got to think back again, going back four or five thousand, six thousand years ago, they wasn't dealing with money. You know what I mean? Economics wasn't money with them. Economics was relationships with them. You know what I mean? Economics is buying. It was by and large just like what do they need to survive? What do they need to get through the next day? You know what I mean? So that was the relationship by and large people had. So once we realized that the relationship between the kingdoms of the now was a primarily economic exchange, we talk about, again, the economy, you got to look at the root word of that, which is eco, the ecosystem. The ecosystem right. of the river, the ecosystem of you know I'm saying universe, which also created the God concept that they had. All these things deal with ecology and economy, and all this keeps going back and forth. This this ever flowing circle that we have, you know what I mean? So the film, as we call it, role of economics and development of civilization, really for us, kind of affectionately, we call it from crops to stocks. Just the evolution of how us as a people and civilization has evolved from just being agrarian people, you know what I'm saying, farmers. To where we are now in this digital crypto currency currency bitcoin age you know what i'm saying of 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 where we are so this film hoppy deals with a a snapshot of economic history from the beginning of times into now it also gives us a real lens as black people things that we can do creatively now to change our economic situation you know what i mean so we really talk 
we start now we move back to the ancient times we go to ancient egypt we go to the development of west african civilizations and their relationship with the now because that's another point that a lot of our scholars had um documented and highlighted to dispel any myths that ancient egypt isn't black we start to look at the other civilizations around it and the cultural confluence that they had you know what i mean an example would be the language like the language in in, in senegal the, the the native language the wolof is connected to what they spoke in the now the yoruba people the khan people the ifa people we start to put all this um the khan people you put all this together you start to realize these people migrated back and forth and they shared a common ancestry you know what i'm saying so when you start to put those pieces together you start to look again deep out happy so as we looked at west african the emergence of great west african civil civilizations we looked at that economic foundation which was the trans-saharan trade and what they used to to develop their civilization then we move further in time and look at the development of western civilization and their economic foundation was the transatlantic slave trade or what we like to call the triangle slave trade the emergence of of united states and it brings us back full circle to where we are today but the last half hour 40 minutes of the film deals significantly with um solution based information that we today can use to better our economic situation you know what i mean so that is happy and as we move forward you know, i didn't so being that i made a couple of films prior to that i didn't just want to do um just another piece people could just watch so before we even got started we started thinking about something called the happy movement you know what i'm saying and what that would look like for us it's not just a film it's a movement you know what i mean so happy really is is a total movement and this uh day of black excellence is a part of the happy movement you know what i'm saying the power and unity conference is a day it was a it's a part of the happy movement you know what I mean? everything that we going on is a part of the happy movement you know what i'm saying so it's yeah the film's the piece of it but it's bigger than that so tell me about the uh economic piece of this um day of excellence that you got going on from what i understand you have like economic like presentation on on like business and things like that absolutely absolutely so the host and moderator or brother dr ken harris um he's the president of the national business league which was founded by booker t washington in 1900. i believe he's the 13th president of that organization and this man right here deals significantly with significantly with what Booker T. Washington laid down, and that is dealing with black entrepreneurship. Booker T. Washington was the founder of many of what we would consider black Wall Streets. You know what I'm saying? The architect of that, creating the understanding of how black people need to work together. You know, we also have Dr. Gina Falou, who's a um economist, who'll be there doing a presentation on on people on establishing really business people who are really interested in in formation of, of corporations and so forth she'd be there to assist so we're definitely going to have not just one but two people you know talking about the economic economic exchange and what that looks like in our community as well as the marketplace so that's a big part of what it is that we're doing that's why we always want to include the um the entrepreneurship piece and there's also a networking event as well there's a lot of time in the schedule particularly in the end, the beginning and the end and throughout the program to talk about, you know what I'm saying, networking, who we're going to be. There's a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of people there, um, a lot of people, business owners, and otherwise, that'd be the people need to kind of, you know, connect with. We have a troll in the, in the fucking chat right now. It's fucking Caliente, yo. Don't listen to this motherfucker. Um, from what I could see, this motherfucker is, is on some bullshit. He lying. I'm not even gonna. Matter of fact, you're getting blocked. Get the fuck out of here. Um, we're not even gonna entertain this bullshit. We're not gonna put that energy out in the atmosphere. This motherfucker out here trying to, you know, claim that people have passed that haven't passed. Um, and we we not gonna be doing this. Don't even concentrate on these motherfuckers with their negative energy. You know what I mean? We in here trying to build and they sending these negative agents in here to, you know what I mean? Always. Talk some Always. bullshit. I just got him out of here and then somebody else, some mezzo rod, get your bitch ass out of here too. Um, yeah, both them motherfuckers is out of here. And anybody else that think they're going to come in here with some bullshit will get your ass booted immediately. 
Okay. Um, yeah. Pardon me about that. I just had to address that real quick. Because I'm reading this shit, and they, you know, they had me researching and shit during what you're talking about. I'm like, no, this can't be true. And it wasn't. It's not true. There's no report on what they're saying, and we're not even going to say what they said, but we'll just leave it at that. Um, but Yeah, Jay, before you go move on, I want to I want you to share that that link I sent you um, with Kevin Hart, because I want to come back to that. It's not let hang on because it's not letting me get to doing this whole new thing with my um computer. Okay, here's a let link. Me see if I could uh here's what I'm gonna do. Share MacBook. We do it like that. Hang on, let me see. Oh, they got a petition for the brother, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, damn, I'm just trying to send the fucking link. Now let me do it. What's that sent? I also sent you a text. I texted to you as well. I uh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, because I'm using a different browser than what I usually use. And so that's, I can't just go into my email from here. Shit all crazy right now. Hang on. Okay. Change.org. Why does it have me on this fucking? Oh, there it is. Why is this shit in Arabic? What the fuck? No, no, no. Scroll down. Huh? Scroll down. Scroll down. Oh, okay. I see it. You see it, right? All right. Yeah, I'm like. What yeah, so hell? It, so all the English is, is down, but that last paragraph, I kind of just want to, you know, kind of highlight that in terms uh, of like. Hang the, on a second. So let me copy that. Now let me this paste that. Go like that. There we go. Now I can present, share screen.
that's going to select window or screen. Can I open this in a different window? Yeah, that's crazy. It's not. Let me see if let me see if I could try. Yeah, could you share it? Maybe? Let me see if I can uh, if I can bring it up. Hang on, maybe I could do it like this. Uh, present. I think you see it at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see if it. See if you can bring it up. Okay. There we go. Now, <clears throat> let me see if I can actually. Yeah, you should scroll, scroll it. There you go. I'm scrolling. It's working. Yep. <clears throat> okay, good. All right. So I just want to kind of go back up to the top real quick and we'll see what the numbers are, what they're trying to do. So they're trying to get, basically they have the amount of signatures they need. So it says 24, 2495 out of 2,500. You know what I mean? So they're looking for five more people to sign this and essentially it's against the egyptian government to kind of stop his performance they feel like you know the egyptian government needs to do more in regards to um black people saying that egypt is 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 a part of their history they feel like we're trying to steal it and it's not all egyptians it's a, it's a group of people and they're known as the um uh, egypt's awareness or why must and that's the, the term actually in Ar in arabic um mm -hmm. And as you see here, this is Kevin Hart is one of the biggest supporters of Afrocentrism. And he sees that African history is forged and manipulated for this reason. On November 4th, the Heartbeat Company owned by actor Kevin Hart um, bought an ownership and stake in Black Sands. We was talking about this. Um, decided to uh, produce a children's cartoon called God of Black History. It teaches African children about what they claim to be their true African descent, their real history, and that they were kings in Egypt and the Egyptian civilization belongs to them and not slaves these people have a problem with this but i'm just going to skip down to the bottom and talk about this piece an appeal to the egyptian government officials in their positions that if they will not prevent these disastrous claims um against the egyptian people and stop this show which is supposed to be on february 21st at the very least there must be an official statement from the official authorities that denies their words which essentially means that you know for the, the black intellectuals who speak about things like this to deny words and say that no it's not a black you know civilization um continuous uh, bias otherwise we were heading for something worse so the language they're using is not only um crazy but it's also it's also threatening you know what i mean and they're going as far but for me it kind of hit home because this same group that here that did this that's doing this to him did it to us with our power and unity excuse me with our power with our One Africa Return to the Source Conference that we had scheduled for February 25th and 26th last year in Aswan, Egypt. Um, so it was really um, interesting to see how this this is kind of playing out and coming full circle. And, so and you said the same group that tried to fuck with y'all? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. So, you know, this situation in terms of how we identify ourselves and how we identify with ourselves is, is important, man, because, you know, if they had a day way, this is what Egypt would look like to them. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a what they call a CT scan that they put together King Tut. Now, it looks nothing like the mummy. Right. The mummy is like some tall. Egyptian. Uh, right. You finished sharing that? That, that, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're done. We're done. We can close okay. that out. Um. Yeah, that looks like them. Right. Right, or even some race neutral cat, because that's essentially what they trying to direct the world to, to look like. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So it's one of you know this day of black excellence isn't just about you know coming out having a good time. It's really identifying with who we are. You know what I mean? And really celebrating what we call us, and celebrating the, the black genius through art. You know, film, dance, music. You know what I mean? And I'm so happy to have you brothers on the lineup to to really you know to. To express that to go back to something we we've lost a long time this looks like i was watching self-destruction today and i remember that period of time i remember going you know being you know i think it's about maybe 15 when it came out 
You know what I mean? But I was already kind of moving around. I was already like I was already an asshole. I was already in in the community. I was already like a part of a part of that. But it just felt good to be a part of to see hip hop be reflective of, of a conscious movement in that conscious stand. And definitely Brand Nubian was was a part of that that movement during that time. You know what I mean? And it was definitely was a proud I was moment. Mad we wasn't on that record, to be honest. I wanted to be on that record. One self destruction. Oh Absolutely. yeah. <laughs> you know, as I was oh, watching yeah. it today, I was like, damn, a lot of people could have been damn, on it. I didn't call us <laughs> up. But, hey. but listen, but you know, you had self-destruction, but you also had wake up. And it was at the same time almost. You know what I mean? So it was just like, you know, you, you, you had your own self-destruction. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it just kind of went hand in hand. You know, you know, you had you had two of the songs, two of the songs on the, on the top of the charts that dealt with promoting. You know what I'm saying? Positivity. You know what I'm saying? Promoting, you know, the fact that, you know, we need to kind of figure out who we are. You know what I mean? So it was like, wow, that was a special time. And that's the time we need to come back to. And that's why we were definitely we're glad to have you a part of this event. So now as a, as a conscious, I'd say a conscious fan of Brand Nubian, um, what are some now, not saying that we're doing it or not doing it, but what are some of the songs that you would like to hear as like a conscious fan? You know what I mean? Like the type of shit that you'd expect to hear Brand New Being do at a function like this. What, what would you want to hear? What do you think they want to hear? So, listen, I'm gonna tell you. We we just mentioned we just mentioned Wake Up, but All for One in your verse in All for One really for me is is the creme de la creme. That that's that's the that's the verse. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Even now when I listen to it. That's the verse I'd be like, yeah, you know what I mean? This sums it up right here. Your verse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So definitely all for one. You know, um, you know, punks and punks jump up to get beat down. You know what I mean? It's definitely, you know, classic joint. Gotta gotta throw that in there. You know, talked about maybe you know 411, a couple different, you know what I mean, different joints, but they're definitely. You know, that's what's up. Matter of fact, I want you, you know, that 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 verse, man, that all for one verse. You said you what? Know, the all for one verse. I just want you to kind of just, if you can, real quick. Ah, ha, ha, ha. you trying to, you trying to get you know me what I mean? Because right just to analyze it though, real quick. You know what I mean? So I we can kind of well, just go through, while I go rain, and analyze it, they can hear it. I said while 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 I rain rhymes poor. You suck it up like a straw and jump on the dance floor. See every time I step in a jam. I make like a door and slam. But then girls try to turn my knob because I'm a heartthrob. I guess it's just the hazard that comes with the job. Every time I rock a rhyme and show Jamar's intellectual, girls want to get sexual. Well, I guess I have to cope with being so dope. You want to be me but can't see me with a telescope. You seek and search, but still you can't find. You're weak and it hurts to be deaf, dumb, and blind. A supreme mind take you out of your paralysis. I grip the mic so tight I get calluses. And your analysis is that the Lord whips rhymes into shape with a mic cord. I do it good because I'm a positive black man. Eating up suckers as if I was Pac-Man. Not a dapper Dan fan, I stay casual. To rock like the J, it comes gradual. You got to know the ledge, the wise, the dumb, and understand your culture of freedom. Power equally with the gods so you can build and bond your cipher. All your life you must teach truth of the true and living God, not a mystery spook. And when you do that, pursue that goal which made the student enroll, and only then you'll prosper. Yeah, yeah, that that last <laughs> segment of it right there. All your life you must teach truth or the true and living God, not a mystery spook. Yeah, that mm -hmm. that for me, <laughs> that for me is something I like. That's something I live by. You know, all my life yes. you must truth, the me true too. and living God, not the mystery spook. We talked about the you know the painting of Jesus uh, black earlier. We don't we'll deal with the mystery spooks. You know what I mean? So that right there, you know, the student enrollment that is really. Is the foundation of this you know so i was like yeah yeah we gotta have them a part of this 
definitely all your life you must seek truth of the true and living god not a mystery spook yes sir i like it the end said when you do that pursue that goal which made the student enroll see that student enrollment one to ten you know when you get your lessons and shit so it's like that's what made you get into the knowledge of self in the first place like you know what i mean right, right. and you know just going back a second could you just kind of spark something when you spoke about um when you spoke about uh when you asked me about hoppy when we think of hoppy we we deal with something called the the pyramid analysis which speaks about economics politics and culture and how they all work together seamlessly in one way and if you use this formula you can identify a person's um politics the economics and and who they are in terms of their culture their deep values and we talk about just this pyramid your culture is your is your deep values so it gives you your um cultural imperative to do what you do you know what i'm saying it it, it, it identifies or it dictates how you're going to spend your money who you're going to spend your money with when we talk about the over um consumption of consumerism we have in our community is directed it's directly connected to our deep values and how we see ourselves you know what i'm saying i'm saying the balenciagas and the other things that kanye kind of talked about some of this too but when you look at just you know that person in the mirror it also dictates how you want to formulate your politics so when you really correct that first piece that culture or knowledge itself now we have a different type of person who wants to identify with who they are and who wants to deal with the economics and their politics very differently and that goes back to what the brother asked earlier about does a black man have to be a coon to be extremely successful no you do not you can have knowledge yourself and be who you are and then that will dictate how you operate in your community. You know what I'm saying? They talk about the black dollar circulating for about six hours until before it leaves our community. Things like that have to stop. And it goes directly into the knowledge itself. It goes directly into your verse. You know what I'm saying? And all for one, you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? All your life, you must teach truth of the true and living God, not a mystery spook. So when you resume that, you know what I mean? So it's, 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 it's a part of, you know what I'm saying? Who we are, just really, really understanding and identifying who we are. You know what I mean? People, you know, today, you know, knowledge itself isn't what it used to be in terms of how we looked upon it. You know, it's been ridiculed, been ridiculed. You know what I'm saying? Black consciousness has been something that's been, it's been laughed about, it's been laughed at, it's been, and they've made a mockery of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the whole taps, you know, like, what the hell is that? And people run around, he's a whole tap, you know what I mean? Or, or whatever it is, they, you know, started kind of like, I'm not gonna say it started here, but I know, um, you know, things like Living Color, all the skits they exactly. had. Exactly, I thought of that ex ex specifically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Help all to the, put that out into pop culture that anybody that's speaking with, you know, any kind of knowledge that they're really talking out their neck, they don't really know what they're talking about. Right, this is some right. jail shit. This is some, you right, know, right. don't right. pay them no mind. They on some bullshit. Right, right. And you got to give it to the enemy, man. The enemy is very strategic with stuff like that. He's always constantly revamping his strategies and his tactics. You know what I'm saying? COINTEL was successful for a reason. You know what I'm saying? These people are very deliberate about how they do things. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, okay, we ain't gonna kill you no more. We're gonna just make you make people laugh at you. And this way, we're gonna kind of um make you less effective. We're gonna make a joke out of you. You know what I'm saying? So we don't have to do a king, you know, speaking of you know, today's MLK Day. We don't have to assassinate you. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to do that anymore. We're gonna character assassinate you. You know what I'm saying? This way would totally destroy your image, and people would be like, nah, we're not even gonna deal with that because that's you know some buffoonery over there speaking you know what of I'm saying? Destroy the image real quick have you seen any of these like mlk flyers where they like superimpose his head onto like dudes that got like chains on and and rings <laughs> like girls twerking on them have you seen that yet nah, nah bro. for, for the martin luther king day parties yo well, this shit is crazy there yeah, yeah, you have it crazy That's that's what like, they do. I remember back in the days during the saying wake up self-destruction, we was everybody was rocking the African medallions. That turned to that Batman shit. You know what I'm saying? People started wearing all the Batman stuff. You know what I'm saying? It was always like a, a counter. We move and these cats are going to try to counter it. You know, that we've said it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Cats is playing checkers and they playing chess. You know what I'm saying? Every move is going to be countered. That positive hip hop was counteracted with gangster rap. I was there. I was a part of that. I lived that. I lived through that. I saw it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So 
you know, and it was just just a part of what what what, what happens every time. So we need to start thinking several moves ahead. We just can't think that first move. We got to start thinking two or three moves because if we don't, we're going to keep getting checkmated every time. Facts. February 4th, Jamaica Performing Art Center, Jamaica Ave, Queens, New York. Um, yeah, it's going to be something special. Yes, yeah, 1 to 9 p.m., and um, I know you you have your link. You want to put that link in the chat again? Right. Uh, the link is in the description right now. So if you just go to the description, the link is there. Can you put up the the um, the, the, the flyer? You want to put that up? Uh, hang on a second. Hang on. The fuck the hell is the... Um... Let me copy that. Um... And if not, we could do the same thing. I can. Oh, yeah. There you go. You got it? You want me to do it? it. Hold up. Did you try to share it? You can one quick second. Is there a different live stream for people overseas? Nah, same link. No. Same link, family. Same link. Same link for everyone, Teacher Maria. You got okay, it? Can... Oh. Okay. All right. That's it right there. Live performance, legendary brand Nubian, sister right here, Lyrical Faith, the poet, my brother Jamal Milton. Uh, be rapping. You got the brother Ken Harris, who'll be the host and the moderator. You got the lectures by uh, uh, Riz Islam, the brother coming to New York. Um, you know how powerful the brother is. Uh, Dr. Susan Tata coming from the continent. Uh, Professor James Small, one of our legendary scholars, the Dr. Janina Falou, the, um, the economist, uh, M. Fudishi, uh, the brother's an expert on Nile Valley civilization. And brother comma comedy you know so we also have the two films right here hoppy role of economics and development is civilization and uh out of darkness heavy is the crown volume one this is the event saturday february 4th um for one we have one to eight here but it's actually gonna be one to nine there's gonna be too much information to kind of do in just seven so we need an additional hour to really kind of put this together the way it's going to work out um so you get the tickets i believe the brother got the 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 link in, in in the chat on the description excuse me description box people get their tickets there you know what i'm saying so yeah definitely got to come out if you're in a, you're in a tri-state area don't you know what i mean i would suggest you come be a part of it you know what i'm saying be a part right. of i mean the, the live stream is cool and all but wouldn't you think being here in person wouldn't would be much more advantageous absolutely 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 Absolutely. To just be there to touch and feel what's going on and really take it in, you know what I mean, in 3D. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, touch and feel. Definitely be a part of this. You know what I mean? So it's going to be so much more that we don't necessarily have there, but, you know, just get your tickets now. We're about, about 20 days, I think, between now and, and showtime. So, yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, brother, uh, we're glad to have you here. I'm going to keep working on the uh, technical side of the, I don't know what's going on, man. This shit used to work great, and now it's bugging out on me. Um, 
I know we supposed like to that. do something Friday with who are we doing, Brother Jeffries or <coughs> Professor Smalls and and and, Smalls. and Sister Felicia. Okay. All right. Well, we will reconvene on Friday. Um, in our little happy series of interviews. Uh, once again, February fourth, a day of excellence. Jamaica Performing Arts Center, Happy presents a Black Day of Excellence. Get your tickets in the description right now. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Taki, Taki Grant, Taki, brother Taki. Salute, salute, family, salute, Jay. Thank you, bro. All right, bro. We'll be in touch. Peace. Peace. All right, we out, y'all. Uh, I got to figure this shit out, man, because this shit really pissing me off that this shit is just not acting right. But uh, I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll be back. Shit. I got to be back before Friday. I actually got something to do on Wednesday with my man, Dame Drummer. He's got a uh, documentary, a movie he did on fatherhood, Black Dads. I want you to check that out. We're going to talk to him on Wednesday. So come join us. Thank everybody for joining. Make sure you click those likes. And... Uh, Appreciate you for bearing with us. Keep doing the knowledge before you do the wisdom. And we out. Peace.